come on, Vincenzo. It's just some film footage of your act. Why can't you let me borrow it just overnight? Because it is my new act and it's top secret, which is why my agent has it safely locked in his office upstairs. I just want to show it to my investors. They want to get to know you better. Mr. Fenris, I have performed my illusion act for the King of England and the Emperor of Japan. There are untouchables in India who tell stories of the amazing Vincenzo. If your investors don't know me, they're not in show business. You think I can't pay you? Look at this suit. I'm staying at the Excelsior Hotel. I've asked around about you, Mr. Fenris. People tell me not to trust you. And I've asked around about you, Mr. Amazing. You're not as flush as you look. You've got a few debts. Which is why I think you'll perform at the opening night of my circus. You dare accuse me Look, of... I made a beautiful poster. Now I just need to borrow your film reel. Until I see some earnest money from you, I'm damned if I will lend you the time of day. All right. I'll get you a check. Cash. Cash, don't worry. I'll call you tomorrow. It's been such a pleasure meeting with you. Thanks for the drink. Get the movie to her. I think he's going to the cinema to meet his friends. Mr. Fenris, I have performed for the king of the universe. There are monkeys who know about the amazing Vincenzo. If your investors haven't heard about me, they're stupid. Oh no, there's no way to get across. I know, if we could get the spotlight working, then I could track you with him. But it's out of power. We need some luminates. Do you have any?
car. Can you help me, please? Goodness, it was such a big jump. Oh, it's locked. Oh, wait! Think that's just. I told you I was good at fixing things. Maybe you could find another way in. Dee Dee, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be out this late. Where's your mom? Did mommy really kick you out? Were you spying on us at the cabaret? Are you coming home? Well, that's my plan. I've got to convince your mother. Is she here? No, I snuck out. <laughs> oh boy, you're growing up fast. You used to be scared of the dark. But did she really kick you out? Well, yeah, kind of. At the time, I wasn't being very good to her, so I guess I had it coming. I missed you so much. Oh, I missed you too, honey. But I'm gonna come back home. I'm putting together a circus, see? It's gonna pay for everything. And you know who it's gonna star? The amazing Vincenzo. <laughs> How much snooping around have you been doing? Yeah, it's gonna star the amazing Vincenzo. He's good, huh? Look, you're really not supposed to be out this late. I'm, 
I'm gonna take you home. I brought you the mail. Shh, shh, shh. But shh. Uh, I got a couple of investors coming here, and they don't like kids much. I need you to run home by yourself, okay? But I brought you. Didi, you have to get out of here. I won't tell mom you snuck out. Okay, go. Hey, Carmine, Silvio. He doesn't have the memory to show that. His name is Salvio, so why are we here? Salvio, yeah, what did I say? I got great news. Vincenzo is in. You have to show them the memory. You got him? You're sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's gonna play opening night. Really bring in the crowds. So that's why you brought us here, huh? You're gonna show us his act? Yeah, yeah, except uh, the projector's broke. Because if you don't got them, your circus is going to flop, and you're not going to be able to pay us back. And then I'm going to have to break your arms, and then we see how well you swim. Look, I'm going to need just a little more money to uh, finalize things with the chance. Are you kidding me? What'd you spend that money on, that so Listen, it's all going to come back to you. Oh! Show them the movie. Show them the movie. <laughs> Knock it off, Sal. Check this out. Geez, he is amazing. I told you I got him. Okay, let's go get your money. Thanks a bunch. Look, why don't I swing by tomorrow, pick it up? Relax. Let's go have a drink, huh? I know a guy who'll fix that finger right I, up. I can't. I gotta go meet someone. Boy, you're in a hurry, huh? She must be a real ripe tomato. <laughs> you wanna go meet Johnny's tomato, Sal? I like a ripe tomato. That tomato's my wife. Always wanted to meet the wife. Uh, we'll play canasta. Just the four of us. Hmm? Okay, but he's not asking, Johnny. He's telling.